It's filming day and I'm still not ready, of course. I am here on location doing a quick project with uh, my friends over at Moon Health. Take a look at the scenery, guys. So I just arrived here on set. Um, I am outside of Allentown, and it's a beautiful scenery, as you could see, and I was driving in. So I'm here with my friends from Men's Health, and we're doing this really cool series that I know that you're gonna love. It's called the Cook and Chisels. So what I thought would be fun is that instead of me cooking up a recipe video, would be to show you all some of the behind the scenes actions of what it takes to do a actual recipe video. So we're gonna get started right now. I think I'm in the right spot. Hi. What's going on? I'm Nick. Hey, Nick, what's going on? Not too much, man. This is one of the uh, Rodale houses. Like, uh -huh. like, it's like the family house. Yeah, sure thing. This is the Rodale house, y'all. <laughs> Super nice. This will be our kitchen. Okay. Here we're, uh, you know, chaotic in here right now. We're still kind of getting everything set up, so. Um, Perfect. Yeah. Uh, looks really nice. So we have three cameras here. Okay. We got three cameras. We're going to have you go through and, um, Basically, uh, you, you do your entire recipe for okay. us, uh, and then we're, we'll be able to get close-ups mm -hmm. and stuff like that and cut it down. Um, and what, the only thing that we may have to do is once in a while, I may just stop you and just be like, hey, just hold for a second, give us a couple of shots of this. I'm okay. sure you're familiar with all yeah. this stuff. So just fine. Just so we can get some pickup shots when we need them for each recipe. Okay. Um, but other than that, I think like, you We're know, good? We're just gonna flow through it as fast as we can, as much as, as we can, and like you know, I'm aiming for six today. Mm -hmm. Or uh, was it six? It was five. It's five o'clock. Uh, yeah. Um, so I mean, yeah, it may be six just because I'd, I'd love to get the snack recipes done. That's cool. Today as well, so that way tomorrow it's just yeah. a high carb, and then my little shoot for BJ. And I, BJ. I just don't know how long it's gonna take to do each one of these, so I just kind of allotted like an hour and fifteen minutes. I just love this place. Look at this. I don't want to leave. And the weather here is beautiful. I'm looking over here, y'all, at the man himself. Men's Health, <laughs> a.k.a. Mr. Olympia. <laughs> BJ. That's more than generous. Hey, what's going on, man? What's up, buddy? How you doing? How you doing? Welcome. Thank you very Good much. Good to see you, man. Hi, how Jackie, are you doing? Hey, nice Jackie. to meet you. Kevin, nice to meet you. I'm here with the makeup artist now. Um, so I really need help because oh, really? my hands. So I did this really stupid thing and I started to do it. To <laughs> did a punching bag. I guess I told you already. All right, so can you help me out? I will. Thank you very much. All right, she can help me out, guys. First time getting airbrushed. Maybe she can put on some biceps and muscles and extra stuff. You gotta get my stencils out. Get your stencils out? Yeah, that's right. Get the stencils out. <laughs> Finished, look at that. All right, so look at that. New hands, Gen A. It's pretty cool. So now I'm gonna go check out all the ingredients and make sure we have everything so we can get started filming. So this is the real reason why we can actually shoot and film today because she and her brother, what's your name? Kristen. Kristen and Audrey. And Audrey. They have been shopping for the past two days for <laughs> all these ingredients and prepping it and chopping it up and have everything ready. And then also to add to that, they also have to help to dictate to me what I'm supposed to do <laughs> because sometimes I actually draw blanks on camera and I'll forget what the recipe called for and whatnot. But thanks to them, this is the real reason why I'm going to do the shoot today. So thanks y'all. Going over the final read through of the recipes now, right before we start filming. Countdown to um, filming time, so I'm gonna walk you through what's actually happening right now. So they're all setting up all the cameras. You got camera one, 
She camera found two. Found we camera three. She she's um, we're gonna do a quick sound check and walk through the recipe first. So um, the thing about recipe videos is that you you can't really mess them up, or like you can, but it just it's really costly to do that in time because you have to reset everything. So I try to walk through it first just to make sure that we got everything. Um, so that way it'll be one smooth take, one take wonders, what they call me. Well, no, they don't, but. You know. Could. Camera above. So, okay. uh, let's, uh, let's test 10 for me real quick. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, I can't really see it. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. Okay, okay, we're done. That was the best soundtrack <laughs> ever. Alright, right, here we go. In 3, 2, 1, action. Welcome to the Cook and Chisel. I'm Kevin, aka Fitman Cook. And today we are making a delicious low-carb chicken and cauliflower rice recipe. It's the same Chinese meal, but with much less carbs. Just that easy, delicious, low-carb chicken cauliflower rice. All right, so we're one recipe down. We had a, had a little snow, um, snafu, whatever you want to call it, um, where we didn't have some of the ingredients, so we had to stop and then switch it out to do something else. So this one is a different recipe, but we're gonna make it do what it do. One of the hardest things about shooting food videos is, um, yeah, you gotta have everything here and ready to go. Otherwise, you just can't film it. Um, and I just got a big re up, re up and retouch of the makeup because you know how I sweat. I sweat like I'm running a marathon and it's really not that serious, but I sweat that bad. Okay, so we're in between shoots right now, but I wanna show you just what all goes into it behind the scenes. So we're having to hurry up and prep for another recipe because we've got about seven recipes to film all today. So when I just finished up one, everybody is like all hands on deck, including the film crew, the makeup artist, Everyone is prepping the food, washing the dishes. And we're washing the dishes now. And then we're setting it up. And now we're getting ready for the next one so we can continue to shoot. And he's feasting on what we just made. We just made this awesome almond Dijon crusted tilapia. Man, how is it? It's so good. <laughs> Believe it or not, one of the most time-consuming tasks there is in recipe shoots is the hero shot. It's the final shot that you see either at the beginning of the video or at the end to kind of entice you to want to go and make it and eat it. But it takes forever with these because you want to get the exact shot because it's all about presentation. You eat with your eyes first before you eat with your mouth. So it's got to look good. This is why my man is up here on top of the camera, I mean on the counter. Taking a shot of that. So the best part of filming these recipe videos, you can eat the food. Delicious. Here are a couple of the recipes. They're so good. If you're like, thanks for me. I didn't put any salt on there. We're about two recipes away from the wrapping, so I am ready for this to be over with today. Not because I'm not having fun, but just because I know how long it takes. And they've been here since like 6 a.m. in the morning, so I know they're wanting me to hurry up and finish. So, um, I committed a tragic mistake on food shoots, which is I got dirty. Had a big, nasty grease stain like right in the middle of my belly. You know, the kind where you were eating pizza and it kind of drifts down. Yeah, I got that stain right here, so I had to go change. Um, and now, as I'm changing, they are prepping for the next recipe. It is countdown now, last recipe of the day. Everyone's rushing, trying to get out of here by 5 o'clock. Wait, is it 4 o'clock right now? Is that 5? It's 5. It's 5 o'clock right now? Yeah. Okay, so we're not going to get out of here at 5 o'clock. We have to get out of here in 30 minutes, so we got to do this recipe right now. Some people haven't sweated out Put all of my stuff, right? Yes, you have. Oh, I have? She said. <laughs> <laughs> I cold. thought she was going to say, oh, no, you done a great. <laughs> it's right. No, you have. It's been running all down your face. Okay. Whew. So it is a wrap from day one. Woo! And we're celebrating by eating what we just made. <laughs> Making some egg muffins. So we're going to clean up. 
and then get ready for tomorrow. <sighs> Good morning, people. So it is the next day and the final day of the shoot. So I'm running a little bit behind schedule because um, I got stuck um, at a train stop and then I also got stuck behind a really slow car. And with these, um, these country roads or farm roads rather, you only have like one lane. So it's like either you go around and I couldn't go around or you just have to be a little bit um, patient. So I had to practice a little bit of Southern patience today. So um, I got to rush now and get going because again we've got um we got six videos to shoot today um and in much less time so it's really important that we get everything done because uh yeah i gotta leave i do i'm kevin nice to meet you alex very nice to meet you okay the main goal for today is just to get her done. We really can't afford any mistakes. We need to hurry up and just nail the voiceover and also all the steps and make sure I don't burn anything up because we do not want to refilm anything. <laughs> Can I say get a good whiff? Yeah, oh, yeah. that's good, that's good. I like okay. that. Good whip of this deliciousness and just that easy. This is sweet potato lasagna, aka Italian food with a little bit of southern twist. This is me in slightly panic mode. Um, we're running a little bit behind schedule and we have two more videos left to shoot um, in only two hours. So I know that sounds like a lot of time, but with prep in between and the hero shots and whatnot, plus we gotta do another promo video right now, it's just cutting it really close. So we're gonna probably have to make some changes either to the program or just cross our fingers and hope we can get it done. This is my panic face. There we go. And this is their panic face. That's that's the way we do it. That's how we settle it here. <laughs> this is how gangster they are over here, y'all. We're using every part of the table plus the floor. <laughs> they don't care. These are honey badgers working right now. <laughs> and here's Jill. She's a senior editor over at Men's Health. Hi. Say hey. I am here with Jill, one of the senior editors here at Men's Health. Hey guys. Um, she's going to be taking care of all the online stuff. So um, whenever you catch the program online, and if you have questions about the recipes and the grocery list and stuff like that, it's probably my fault because I didn't <laughs> give her the right information. But she's over all that. So be nice. Be nice online and support the program, all right? We're very excited. <laughs> Thanks, Thanks, Jill. Kevin. And finally, our homemade enchilada sauce. Oh, my God. So they're just inspecting in the last one recipe, waiting for them to say if it's a wrap or not. And that's a wrap. And that's how you make a recipe video. You get world-class people to do world-class things. I'm telling you, it's gonna be an awesome video. You cannot miss this series. And here is our final recipe we made today quinoa Tex-Mex enchilada casserole 